On the last tutorial of Sculpt Plus, we covered navigation, different modes, object management, few brushes, some side options, subdivision, remesh, symmetry, mirroring, materials, paintings, troubleshooting, and a bit of textures. In this one, I'll cover masking, rendering, and a few other stuff. So without further masking, just like in the real world, if you mask something, it remains unaffected from external stimuli. Similarly, if you mask something in this app, it won't be affected when you sculpt and paint on, on the object. This is a very useful tool. To mask an area, press the mask button at the left above the smooth button. When it is active, you would have entered masking mode and painting over the object will mask the area, differentiated by a black color. The negative and positive and strength and size of brush will also affect the mask. To sculpt or paint again, repress the mask button and you'd be on your way. There are some additional options for masks in the object panel. Flip will flip or invert the area that was masked and clear will clear your active object from any masks. Here's an example project where I used masks extensively. All the details of the face and body were created with the help of masks, masking a certain area and going over with a layer of standard or inflate brush. Masking is also useful to create facial features. On a side note, there is another brush similar to move brush, that is the pull brush. But the main difference is that the pull brush moves the geometry perpendicular to the surface of the mesh, while the move brush moves the geometry sideways according to your view angle. And also in the brush setting panel is a setting called lazy strokes. is kind of a stabilizer for your strokes. It's called that because it's lazy to follow your finger movement. Well, you have sculpted something cool. Congrats! Now you want to render an image out of it instead of taking screenshots. Okay, go to the view panel. Projection lets you choose between perspective, which is a three-dimensional property, and orthographic, which is like simply a two-dimensional projection of your sculpt. Then there is field of view. And the display mode. Smooth is smooth, flat is flat. Color is, well, just color, and wireframe is a frame of wire over your object. Smooth is the default. Adjust those stuff and press render. You can do some editing and save it. Also, you can record the 360 turntable GIF, which is pretty cool. Hey, look at you! You've made it till the end! You're awesome! And you deserve a flood of golden gratitude from my side!